the vibration um, reading for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising for the um, second week. Second week. I think it's the second week or third week, but it's the week um, from the 18 until um, it's the third week, 18 until the 24th. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look at this week. Let's look and see what's going on for you, Aquarians. Remember, for the Aquarians or have a birthday, go back and listen to the birthday reading. This is going to be good. It's a week of hair, so it's a wonderful week for you, Aquarians. A really wonderful week with the energy vibration also of air. Two first day, and then it's going to be um, turning into water from um, Tuesday. It's going to be turning into the energy from water, okay? So be aware of that. Okay, the other thing that I want to say to you guys, and I want to... Um, reach out to you guys and say please remember to like share this video and cross watch cross watch is good you're going to be understanding what is going on for you and for others as you cross watch so this is going to be very very positive so here we are the energy of the ace of swords this is good this is good communication on Monday for a lot of you you're going to be communicating in um, a positive way on Monday um, then we have an earth energy, which is good. So Monday is going to be very good for you, Aquarians. Um, Tuesday is going to be good. It's the end of a situation and a new beginning is coming in. Wednesday, the energy of the seven of ones. This is good because it's a fire energy. It's a crowning of the week. You're going to be protecting yourself from issues and situation. People who are coming at you, just protecting yourself, standing your ground. This is going to be good. Thursday, the energy of the lovers. We're going to be seeing what is affecting the energy of the lovers on Thursday. It doesn't have to be on Thursday for everyone. It could be happening another week. And then some of you are dealing with um, uh, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, whoever this person is, between the ages of 0 and 45. But if this person is coming up between the age of 18 and 45 that you're in a relationship with. Whatever is going, the Eight of Cups is in reverse. This is going to be good, whatever the situation is. Eight of Cups is in reverse, and some of you turn your back to an organization. Whatever the organization is, you're turning your back to the organization, and you're moving forward. The Two of Swords is here. It's here and upright. So um, this week is going to be a week where you're seeing um, situation for what they are. Okay, so situations could be coming up, and... Um, it could be in relationship forms with your partner, your husband or your wife. Whatever the situation is, is that you're seeing, you're trying to figure out what is going on. At the same time, you're definitely protecting yourself because you're not sure what is going on. So you're definitely protecting yourself. And um, it could be um, some of you are going to be having issues. Two of Swords comes back up. So obviously, whatever the situation is, that is transpiring definitely some of you are trying to figure out something that is going on it could be um, with, um, a situation that is about to close um, it could be a situation that is really affecting you in this week and you're going to be seeing where and how the energy of the ace of swords is here energy of the ace of swords has to do with the queen of Pentacles okay so whoever is you could be communicate clearly with the queen of pentacles and the energy of the magician is here so um you're just someone who is just clear you're communicating clearly this is good because whatever the situation is is that this queen of swords is understanding exactly what is going on and this is good okay so you're just um you have nothing to hide, which is very good because the energy of the magician, this is going to be a good day. Some of you choose Monday to go on, um, to go on and do an interview because your communication is going to be clear. Some of you could be going on an interview and having an interview with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. She's 45 years and older, but she, you need to be, communicate very clearly, I guess, by communicating with this person is just going to come clearly out and you could be receiving this job okay the energy of the the world is here and this is a positive energy um for some of you the energy of the world it has to do with work it's as if you're 
um, you're really connecting in a right way with your work whatever you're doing definitely you're connecting and you're using your ability in a right way and there's going to be something that is going to be coming out you have the three of swords there is a situation that is ending some of you you could be ending a, a connection would work you could be ending um, definitely a work situation is going to be ending it could be a contract whatever it is there's a work situation that is going to be ending do not be because it's as if you felt it coming in you felt it you definitely felt it coming in whatever the situation is you felt it coming in and it's as if okay I know it's coming so it's but you're trying to figure it out you know you felt it as it is coming in number two is going to be your energy vibration because it's all about um, duality and it's a week of duality because it's changing from the air energy to the water energy okay so you Aquarians whatever is transpiring you know you're looking for clarity some of you you're going to be ending a relationship some of you could have um, a divorce and this divorce the separation of this divorce or whatever is at men is the end it is going to be coming in okay we have the energy of the seven of ones what is transpiring here energy of the seven of ones what is transpiring for the Icarians in this week um, the energy of the four of ones is here and some of you are protecting your house, um, your foundation for whatever is coming up. You're protecting your house and your foundation. Some of you could be protecting your your partner in a situation where, and you could also be protecting your team. If you or someone who is running a team, you could be protecting your team. If there's really someone who's running a team, you could be protecting your team from whatever is um, coming. Some of you are definitely at home. You're trying to protect your family. You're trying to protect your stability, and this is good. The energy of the lovers comes up for the Aquarians. What is this saying? Some of you are ending a relationship. 88 is in this week for you guys twice the eight of cups twice number two two and eight is in this week for you whatever is happening some of you are going to be ending a relationship with someone you're turning your back on a relationship you're moving forward whatever that is happening and transpiring definitely you're deciding in this week to end a relationship okay it could be your marriage and on Monday you're going to be speaking up about the situation in your marriage you could be getting a lawyer on Monday because um, you're speaking up on something that is happening in your marriage okay um, some of you could be bringing a burden uh, um, because your partner or whoever you're in a relationship is deciding um, to move forward and left you with all the burdens to carry um, you're not going to be happy but if someone needs to leave your life let them leave okay don't just don't hold on to whoever it is some of you who are married could be carrying a burden in your relationship there's definitely someone who is married could be um, listening to this reading you're carrying this burden in a relationship and it's time for you to let go of this burden it's time for you to end this burden whatever it is so now you're dealing with the king of cups so it is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this could be the person who is deciding to leave the relationship or the marriage whatever it is so let it go um, because it's better this king of cups what are you and how are you going to be affecting the Aquarians in this week king of cups that's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this king of cups is looking for new avenues new endeavor in his or her life okay he's still turning around looking back on a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman he has left a relationship with you he has left the marriage with you and he's thinking and looking back looking forward to go and connect with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person because his heart is there you know he he has left the marriage whatever relationship but he's turning around looking for this lady because he knows that whatever has transpired this is the person that is the person that he should be with because the marriage between you both have ended and he is um, moving forward but he is he wants to know um, if this is the person for him his heart is drawn to this woman now 
definitely um he's gonna make it this um he's gonna definitely let you know um you know I'm, I'm i'm turning my back i'm walking away i'm leaving um this relationship and i'm going for a new start whatever the situation is is that this person is definitely wants a new start this person wants to communicate and let you know i'm leaving because i'm carrying too much burden so some of you are going to be your partner is could be letting you know that i want to leave this relationship because i'm carrying too much burden and that's the reason why you're walking away from this relationship okay the eight of cups is here and um on in the weekend it's going to be emotions but emotions where you understand where you are and um, a situation with an organization so let's see eight of cups is bringing the eight of swords so definitely some of you are still trying to figure out because you decide to leave and move and go away from a relationship but still you have no idea where you're going and what is the next move okay a new start is definitely going to be coming for you so some of you if you um, were in a situation where um, there is this lady it could be your mom because it's coming up as a mother and uh, there was some heartbreaks there was some situation that has transpired um, what is going to be uh, um, transpiring and what is going to be happening is that you're going to be seeing the truth of what to do whatever decision or, you know the next move to make and um, as you make this move you're going to be going in the right direct direction and this is going to be good now some of you are dealing with an organization what is this organization how is this organization is going to affect the Aquarians in this week it's an organization um, with money so some of you could be or so some of you could be um, divorcing and have to pay your lawyer that sort of a thing but some of you if you're divorcing you're going to be hearing and receiving the message that um, you're going to be ex um, getting an alimentation and also money for the kids it's like you ask for something and you're going to be receiving this what else is coming out for the the organization and the nine of Pentacles what else is coming out there is a judgment call there's definitely a judgment call and this has to definitely do and affect the people who are separating divorce or that sort of a thing but it can be in a positive way for some of you definitely some of you are going to be um, receiving a message from your partner that they are moving on okay and you're going to be left with a burden you're definitely going to be receiving a message from your partner that they are moving on and you are going to be leave with the burden it is okay because sometimes um, you have to let let people go whatever the situation is you definitely have to let people go it is time for a situation to end okay so we can't basically hold on on, on people for whatever the reasons are um, obviously there's an ending that is coming in and we just have to put on our adult um we just really have to put and, and and accept what is coming in we can't push it we can ask people you know to change and whatever is coming in accept the changes that is coming in and um take the new offer that is coming in and move on okay we can't hold people if they don't want to be with us okay for the rest it is um it is a week that you're going to be protecting your territory okay it's a week where you are definitely going to be protecting your territory and you're a little bit in blindfold now but um, let's see what is happening because there is um, you're not seeing something clearly okay so definitely you were blindfolded by a situation but now clarity is going to come in because the cross it is the end of of whatever conflicts is the end of whatever that was transpiring finally 
finally this was a karmatic situation that is definitely going to be ending so if you notice you have 22 you have three times eight some of you expect unexpected money is going to be coming in we have the energy of three times eight we have twice two then we have three times eight eight there and eight here Definitely some of you are going to be receiving a message that your partner is going to be deciding to move on. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Um, she is going to be helping you guys as you communicate with her. She's going to be helping you guys to move forward and just and give you guys a new start. So communication is the key in this week. You have Monday is a good day. Now the rest of the week have different situations because we're having a situation there with art breaks. Some of you felt as if this person was a twin flame that is leaving your life. And and um, it could be a brother, a sister. It could be a very best friend that you feel very close to that is going to be leaving your life. It could be your kids um, that is have to travel for business or wants to look for um, somewhere new, a new possibility a new opening and this person is going to be letting you know or you could be receiving information that this person wants to move forward in their life and you know as I said um, let it go let it go whatever the situation is let it go because uh, um, we can't hold on on people so we're asking the Oracle what other messages is coming out for the Aquarians um, for this coming week and again, we have card one and card two. As you choose card one, you have um, loyal hearts. Okay, so whoever is leaving your life, they're definitely going to be loyal to you. Um, whatever situation that has transpired, they're definitely be going to be loyal to you. It could be a mom or a mother figure. This. Um, Queen of Pentacles, they're definitely going to be loyal to you all your life, all the time. As friends, they're definitely, definitely going to be very loyal to you. Okay, so loyalty some of you could be meeting someone, and this is a loyal art that means this is a soulmate that is coming in that you're going to be beginning a journey with, and this is going to be good. If you choose card two, some of you, um who are experiencing relationship oh my gosh some of you were receiving relationships um, situation it is that it's an unfinished synchrony some of you are going to a situation and this is really um, a situation that is an unfinished synchrony so this could be um, where um, this relationship is ending because uh, um, the cycle has come to end it and this person might return in your life okay um, but some of you need um, to um, release it's an unfinished synchrony when when the energy of unfinished synchrony comes up it is saying to you that you haven't learned the lesson and it has to do with work a lot of you there is a situation at work that you haven't learned the lesson and um, you need to redo this lesson in your life. So for the people who had chosen card two, there's a situation that is going to be happening in this week. And it's on um, an unfinished synchrony that is a, a relationship or something on the work floor that you need to um, redo to complete this lesson. Okay. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back take whatever um, connects with you and leave the rest um, please 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 cross watch to see who is um, the star is Virgo or Capricorn person um, see um, what is the energy that is coming out for your husband or wife or children what is it and depend depends on depends really on what is um, transpiring um, just do the right thing and as you do the right thing you will be okay I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and I want to say namaste until next time